Hi everyone and welcome back to another video. So as you can see this is a completely different setup to what I've been recording for my previous videos where I'm taking you out and about. But that is because what I got up to last week it didn't allow me to talk to you um, or talk about my feelings at the time. So just to get straight into it I spent a whole day in a hide in Wiltshire so a bit out of the way to the fens but this was something that I've wanted to do for quite some time. Just to mention, this is not a sponsorship. This is an experience that I paid for myself and yeah, just something I wanted to experience for myself and to share my thoughts and my feelings about that. I'll leave a link down below to the company that runs the hides. Um, from what I've experienced, they have a really good setup and the pictures that have been created by other photographers there are just simply amazing. So last Friday I left the house at 3am to travel to Wiltshire because I had to arrive at the hide uh, before the sun rose. I met up with the farmer, um, a lovely gentleman. He talked to me about some of the rewilding projects that he had set up on his land and uh, this setup in particular being one of them. So with that, I'm gonna share with you some of the recordings I got from the day and I'll talk to you a bit about what I experienced and what I felt throughout the day. So enjoy. So as the sun was beginning to rise behind a mass of clouds, I waited to see what would come up. The stone chat was the first thing that I saw that morning. And then within an hour, the first of the birds I wanted to see arrived, one of them being the common buzzard. It began with one or two individuals, but then once the word spread that there was food available, more and more started to come in. It was quite quiet at first, so I took this opportunity to photograph some individuals in portrait mode. It was nice to get so many of the little details of the feathers and of the eyes and the beak. As the morning progressed, more and more buzzers started to fight each other and the red kites that were circling around were trying to get a feed for themselves. But this is where it began that so much activity started, I didn't know where to point my camera. I took each opportunity as it arrived to me and I ended up getting some of my most favorite videos and pictures of the buzzards interacting with each other. The red kites tended to stay out of the way, only coming in when the coast was clear of more buzzards and patiently waiting until food was available for them to eat. But again, this allowed me the opportunity to take some portrait shots of them and once again marvelling at all the colours and the textures and the patterns on each individual bird.
There were a couple of individuals that really caught my attention. This pale morph buzzard being one of them. Their unique paleness definitely made this one stand out from the other buzzards in the area. And this one was also quite boisterous, fending off other buzzards while she could feed and again providing me the opportunity to photograph action shots. If I had stayed long enough and over an extended period of time, I think over the course of that time I'll be able to pick out each individual trait, not just by their markings but also by their behaviour and whether they were male or female. But at that time I just enjoyed being in their presence for the whole day. As the day drew to a close, buzzards flew off back to their roosting areas. Some of the red kites stuck around to pick off whatever was left. And again, I just enjoyed their company. I was even treated to seeing one of the buzzards having a bath in a little pond. Again, something I really enjoyed witnessing myself. So I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, just talking about what I experienced while I was in the hide and showing the pictures in between the videos as well. So the pictures will eventually be shown through my Facebook and my Instagram and I'm very tempted to post it up on my blog as well. I know I'm not very consistent with writing up the blogs, I'm very keen to record what I've seen and, and just recording it in the moment. But I think on this occasion I will definitely uh, write up uh, a blog about this. So I hope you enjoyed the video, uh, seeing the videos and the pictures that I've taken. I'm absolutely thrilled with the pictures that I got from that day to have the opportunity to see these birds up close, behaving as they normally would with, with them being wild animals. And yeah, just seeing the social interactions was really something because I often only see one or two individuals flying over near my house or near my work and that will be about it. So to see them feeding together, seeing them um, interact in ways that I've never seen before myself, it was certainly an experience really special to me. So I'll end the video with two of my favourite shots. I will warn you that one of them is a little bit gruesome. Um, but it's probably one of the reasons why I really like that picture. It's something a bit different to taking portrait shots. I really like the portrait shots, but having the chance to photograph, you know, them moving their wings up, you know, calling out to each other, it was really something different for me. And I hope to return again in the future, probably not just for birds of prey, but for other animals as well, hopefully. 
So like I said, I've got a link down to the hide company that I went through. Um, there is actually a couple of hides set up closer to me that I might go to, whether that be next year or, or in, a, in a few years time. Uh, but to have that opportunity to be so close to a wild animal or multiple wild animals, um, yeah, it's just, it's just been really enjoyable. So thank you so much again for watching. I think I'm reaching 600 subscribers now, which is amazing. Um, I thank each and every one of you who has shared, who has subscribed and who's commented as well. Um, I'm really grateful for that. And I just love sharing this content with, um, with, with you. If you do have any feedback at all on my videos, if there's something you'd like to see me, you know, try out with my photography, I'm um, open to suggestions. You can either comment uh, down below or you can send me a message through Instagram or Facebook. Um, but it'd be nice to know if there is something that you would like to see from me, whether that be, you know, another Q&A um, or, or maybe even like writing up a list of challenges. Um, I'm, I'm, I'm open to that. I'm not sure what I'm going to be able to do in terms of photography in the coming weeks obviously because uh, it's winter now, there's frost on the ground, there's been a bit of snow. Um, and yeah, I'm not completely sure what I'm gonna go out and photograph yet uh, for the winter months and with it obviously being a uh, festive period. So if anything comes to light, I will be sure to record it and, and upload it. Um, but yeah, in the meantime, thank you so much again for watching and I will see you all in the next video. Bye.